Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Stuffington Press. It's your boy, Paul Henderson here with some more Illusion of Gaia. Uh, when we last left off, we had just gotten to the Itori Village, and we just got a new power called Psycho Dash. Is this shit right here? Alright, cool. Let's go exploring. So, one of the first things you learn... Try running down the hill and keep running, you'll be surprised. Wonder what'll happen. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Whoop, whoop, woo! Hoo -hoo, boy. Anyway. Will hears a voice behind him. What? I don't need to climb down the ladder. Here, let's just... Wait, do I have to actually have to climb the ladder? Come on! It's perfectly jumpable. Whatever. think one of these actually has a fucking uh, gem in it. I'm gonna make damn sure. Hi, Panda. So you may hear a cat meowing in the background occasionally. That is my cat, Pandora. It's actually my roommate's cat, but I've co-opted her for my purposes. She's a noisy baby. <laughs> but I love her. Oh, right. Okay, so you hit walls, and any walls that make noise... You can psycho dash him. Hey. You found Incan Statue A. So there are six Incan statues we were trying to collect A through E. F. A through F. A, B, C, D, E, F. Sorry. Panda just made it. Really? No, no, no. Don't puke on my stuff. Okay, technical issue's over. Panda was about to puke in my pile of HEB bags. Alright, hey, what the fuck was that thing I just got? Aha! Ooh, that's the Incan statue. Good job! I wonder if you were put on this earth to solve the Incan riddle. I'll tell you a legend handed down by our people. Put the statue on the Larai cliff below the ruins where the spirit's breath cannot reach. The winds in the valley will lead you to the gold ship. Understand? Yeah. It's said that the Moon Tribe has one more. Have Lily guide you there. Be careful. Alrighty. Whoop. Back we go. Aw, oh, I didn't quite make it up. What a shame. So anyway, I believe... No, actually, no, 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 I'm sorry. I got mixed up. The Incan statues are actually keys. They're not, they're not what we're looking for. The statues that we're actually looking for are completely different. There's six of those for sure. You can see those pedestals, that's where the statues will go that we're looking for. Not the way I want to go. Right, I gotta talk to Lily. Hey, what's up? Moon tribe? Not a tribe, more like a strange shadow form. High mountain peak has become their home. Yeah, let's go. Alright. It's way too dangerous. So I'll talk to Grandma Lola. Nya nya. Jesus Christ. So Will and Lily go to the peak where the Moon Tribe lives. Alrighty. Oh, we've arrived. This is the Moon Tribe's home. Alright, cool. I think there's actually like a trial we have to pass here. I thought this body is lighter than air. Uh, old man's ghost. Wrong! We are actually the moon tribe, also known as shadows. Ah! Enemies. Comet is a vehicle of destruction whose evil light has changed all creatures. It's a remnant of a weapon from a terrible battle long ago. One of my party has been kidnapped. Whenever there's light, there are shadows. We who are changed by the, being bathed in the light only once will spend our future in a world without light. Okay. Comes once every 800 years. This is the fourth time. The more light that reaches you, the stronger the dark power. What will be born of light this time? 
Once in a time, and lived long, we saw the destruction of the Incan Temple. The Incan statue sleeps in the cave below. If you like, we'll give it to you. Alright. <laughs> This is the final shape of those touched by the comet's light. They are horrible creatures whose hearts are filled with hatred and destruction. If you can destroy them within 20 seconds, I'll give you the statue. All right, let's go. They're all up above. Thankfully, it's actually fairly generous with the time. But I remember this. The first time I did this, it took me uh, like a few tries. It might actually take me a few tries because this boy's escaping. Damn it. again. There we go. I wasn't ready. I said no because I just wanted to chill. I didn't think it was going to immediately take me away. Yeah, off we go, I guess. I'm almost certain I've missed at least one red crystal gem by now. I didn't actually start the timer. I'm pretty sure that was about 10 minutes. Alright, we're now dealing with the Incans. They say that this is where the puzzle of the Incan legend is hidden. I heard this story from the Elder when I was a child. After being invaded, the Incas decided to leave the native new world. They secretly built a huge ship and filled it with priceless gold artifacts. But there's no record of the ship leaving. I've ever told anyone. I wonder what I want you to do. I wonder what I have to do. I can't remember this place. There's a little cave here. I think I come back here. Ah! Hi, Kara. <laughs> Put the statue on the Lurai Cliff below the ruins where the spirit's breath cannot reach. The Valley of the Wind will lead you to the gold ship. Oh yeah, this is actually where the game starts getting kind of serious. I actually love pretty much everything that happens from this point on. This is, this is where the game really starts kicking into high gear. It's kind of great. Anyway. This is the tremendous... There was a tremendous wind at the Lurai Cliff. That's probably what the old man meant by the breath of the spirit. So, ah! I just heard something get knocked out. No, oh, Pandora, are you in the fucking closet? So uh, Pandora just started climbing into one of the cardboard boxes inside of my garage. Or garage in my closet. Okay. This is this is the cliff with no wind. My heart beats fast. Alright, let's get going. So we're in a dungeon again. We got some mud monsters. And also we're pretty low on health because we haven't really had a dark. I kinda don't want to burn my life. One of my lives in this area, so I'm actually gonna head back up and try and find a safe spot. We're gonna head back to the Atori village really quick so I can uh, heal up. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of all sorts of biological mistakes right now. Oh shit! I guess Pandora got sick of uh, climbing in my closet. She uh, got like really into one of the boxes. It was kind of cute. Also, look. Ooh man, she kept making noises, so I was a little worried about her. Okay. No shit. Leaving this all in, of course. All right. 
The uh, level designs in this game get really clever. You'll see what I mean when what I'm talking about later on. I don't want to spoil it. Oh yeah, and the monsters do respawn if you leave an area completely. So like, I guess theoretically if you wanted to, you could like really grind for... There we go. For dark power. Although the dark power honestly doesn't matter super much. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I just remembered, if you do Psycho Dashes, you actually do a lot of damage. So you always want to try to initiate with a Psycho Dash, because they do some pretty good damage. Oh, okay. Will just decided on that attack he didn't want to do anything. That's fine. Will's his own man. Uh, why is there a thing there? I guess that's probably a puzzle thing. Alright, anyway. So yeah, the level designs in this area start getting a little bit more complex. The uh, first level obviously had super simple design. I don't think you ever get a proper map, so you kind of just have to memorize where everything is. You'll get a really good feeling for that in the third area. Third, the third dungeon is like max level confusing. There we go. Oh yeah, you can't block and charge at the same time. That's a weakness of the Psycho Dash. However, you do dodge, um, attacks. And apparently, if you're in the right position, you get two ticks, which I did not know. If I was ever to speedrun another game, and I don't know if I ever would, but if I ever was to speedrun another game, this is probably pretty high on the list of games I would speedrun. Shit. That was interesting. Oh, the diamond shape block. Okay, so that was that that panel that we passed by earlier. I was just checking to make sure I didn't miss any doors. So, the diamond shaped block. Ta da! -dum. Hey, it's a bridge. Do I have any gems? No, I don't. Okay. I can probably get rid of the key at this point, honestly. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to or not, but if I am, I probably should. I don't think it ever teaches you how to do that dive attack. You kinda, it's probably like an instruction booklet thing. I probably figured it out on my own. And that's probably a shortcut back to the beginning. Will is pretty good at jumping off shit. It's one of his main exports. Oh, some skeletons. Explorer sought the ink and gold ship. The skeleton's hand has some kind of charm. Inside it is a scrap of paper with this written on it. Father, please come back alive, Nana. When you find the gold ship, buy a crook. Adorable. We'll learn what crooks are later on. They're essentially this game's chocobos. I can't remember what these things- Oh, right! I can blow them up with the Psycho Dash. Or I can just move them.
Herb. Okay. Probably need to start organizing my items a little bit. Not allowed. Alright. One of those count as enemies. Nope, they don't. It's destroyed anyway. Ha! Got him. Nope. Okay, we're done here. Also, oh boy, those faces are some good touches. trying to teach me that I can use the Psycho Dash to do extra damage, but <laughs> I'm just too good at this game. Alright, little mini Master Belches here. So I got plus one attack, but I guess these guys have plus one defense. Told you those pedestals would be important later. Three, nine enemies left. Okay, if I remember correctly, I can't attack these guys without being able to use a ranged attack or something like that. You'll, we'll figure that out later. These guys just have a different color palette for no reason. If I can move that gold statue, I can pass. Yep. Ah, that's the way I came from. Uh, just to make sure. This game is basically Fear of Missing Out Simulator. Alrighty, so, so this dungeon's still relatively linear despite its appearances, but it's just complex. And these are actually just ink and statues that come to life. Nope, I wasn't sure if I could block those or not. I was just curious. Hey, Panda. Oh, right, I remember this. Okay. So I'm actually not supposed to activate these guys. I'm just supposed to uh, drag them around without touching them. But first I'm gonna fight them to get their experience. Oh god! Uh, so it turns out there's actually not an item for this room, so that's interesting. Okay. I thought they'd be worth the gem. Go figure. Oh god! I didn't even get close to you, what the fuck? Alright. Apparently we can't even get close to the boys. Oh shit. So uh, there's a way to make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm gonna go ahead and stagger the boys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Down we go. Those are traps. We're a little low on health. I'm not going to use an herb because I still feel like those should be saved for... Uh, bosses.
Although, oh boy, that got a little dicey. Cool. We're all good. And we can be freed now. Here we go. Just mess that guy up. So one thing to note, I can't use Psycho Dash while I'm freeding. It's a will-only ability. Um? A wind in the valley plays a melody. The statue seems to be singing. Don't know that one quite as well. But anyway, we learned a new song. Now we have two songs. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Oh, no, 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 don't put the herb down there, Jesus. There we go. Okay, so now we have two songs. We've got Lowell's Melody and the Wind Melody. We're gonna need the Wind Melody in case it's not obvious. Uh, oh yeah, also Frieden doesn't have a flute. So if you don't have a flute, you can't... Oh, hey. He lost his life in the trap. <laughs> Freedom can still pull on statues. Oh, right. I need to fight that. Uh... The fact that he doesn't require... That he doesn't have a flute ends up being more of a, just a minor inconvenience. Because most of the time when you need to play a, a instrument to do something, the game will usually put you next to a dark portal. Oh yeah, although you can't get through that. Uh, right. I need to go fight that gold, gold statue now that I have some range. I can't remember where it is. Oh shit! God damn it! Yep, can't let anyone know my dark secret. <laughs> Whoops. Alrighty. At least we got a bit of a shortcut back now, so we got that going for us. Like I said, this game this, this game can get a little confusing with the layout sometimes. This place is mostly linear, but every once in a while you get into some kind of weird stuff. Oh, oh hey panda, come on. There we go. Kitty in my lap now. Yay. Is him? Hey, lady. Sorry. I'll let you get nice and comfortable down there. Yeah? <sighs> the long run back. Not one of my finer moments. It's kind of like a jump off there. Comfy? Maybe she'll like try and jump up and kiss me. She does this sometimes. Just like jump up and get all in my face. Ah, gold statue. Okay. Hey, what's up? Fuck you. Damn it. Oh, I think she's about to do it. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck you. Definitely looks like the way I'm supposed to go. So we're definitely fucking up those slimes now. One extra health. Oh my god, Panda, I love you, but pick a spot, Jesus. So you can see the hitbox for the attack kind of extends off to the right a bit. He's right-handed. And he's consistently right-handed too, they actually flipped a sprite. But they didn't flip a sprite, see? No sword? Sword.
That's another thing about the way this this game is kind of like built, is that oh god, my hair. <laughs> Not paying attention to how I put the headphones on. Um, the way this game is built, it's kind of like isometric, but not from a diagonal point of view, but from like a, a, a vertical point of view. So it's like, it's almost like you're viewing at a camera at like a 45 degree angle back. So like, if this was, how do I describe this? Uh, it, it's hard to describe. Basically, there's a, if you take a camera and took it, from, from your point of view, if I took the camera and instead it was pointing it directly at my face, was like, whap, like this, then it makes my desk look a little bit shorter than it actually is. It's it's hard to describe. I point that out my crotch and my cat. Anyway, that's the best camera angle that this game's at. I'm not sure if we're going to get to the boss by the end of this episode or not. Oh, hey, Serenity. Uh, God, every time. Thirteen. I almost guarantee there is a red chest, red gem in there. Nope, it's an herb. A lot of herbs. I'm actually a little surprised by how many herbs I've got. lose a little bit of DPS as a freedom by not being able to psycho dash. Nope, not a turn-based RPG. In fact, it's the opposite. It's um, actually part of the same series as Terra Enigma, if you're familiar with that game. Interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, are they different colors? That's interesting. Two of them are blue and two of them are purple. Maybe that's what determines whether or not they shoot fire. There we go. So in case you haven't figured it out, whenever you clear all the enemies in a room, that's how you... I'm gonna turn the game sound just a little bit down. Okay. Uh, when you clear all the enemies in a room, that's how you get items. That's how you level up, essentially. The game very heavily incentivizes full clearing rooms. And I believe that's another shortcut, so we'll go ahead and just ignore that for now. Oh wait, was this the shortcut? No. Okay, we're good. This is a new room. I should probably check the shortcut just so I can figure out where it is, where it goes. Also, more dead ends that go to nowhere. So, um, Serenity, you just came in, so you actually don't know. This is not our main character that I'm playing as right now. This is actually a character called Freedon, which is who one of our main characters, who's named Will, can turn into. Actually, he's the only character you turn into from most of the game. There's another character who shows up near the end, but that's... <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> this guy is known as the Dark Knight Freedon. He's a bit stronger and has a bit more defense than our main character. And he has a bit more reach. I like how they force you to fight multiples of these by just having you activate these switches. I pretty much got through that without taking much damage. That was nice. Also, Serenity, I don't know if I told you I'm recording this for the channel, so if it seems like I'm not talking to, you, to this stream very much, that's why.
Oh, that's gonna be a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's just spinning circles. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not, but you can basically hold down the A button and spin in circles and do attacks. <laughs> Alright, cool. We full cleared this room. And there are actually two ways we can go. We'll head down here first. And this looks like the way I'm actually supposed to go, so we'll not go here first. I'm willing to bet that way up to the top was a dark portal so we could turn back into Will. Because that was a, uh... Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's a whole nother room. Oh, so no, this is a room I've been to before, but I didn't have, uh... I'm on the other side of it now. Oh, there is a dark portal here. They have no written language. They've left their legends and sound. I've succeeded in deciphering the Incan melody of the wind, chanting the golden rune. What does it mean to play the melody of the wind? Interesting. I'm gonna take a guess and say yes. Fucked him up. All right, cool. And I believe we're max level for this part of the game now. Red jewel. There we go. I'll just deal with that. Alrighty. So now we're gonna go turn back into Will so you can see their actual main character. I have to do this anyway, so. What I'm supposed to do here. Psycho Dash? Do I. Okay, I actually don't remember what to do next. Oh god. Do I just stand here? I'm just gonna stand here. Oh! Yep, okay. Hey, they even gave us a free dark portal. All right. So right after this is the boss. So I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to end the episode. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe the video. And uh, check us out here at Stuffing Impressed. We're going to try and get more videos out in the future. But uh, for now, I'll see you next time when we fight the first major boss of Illusion of Gaia. And cut.